Hey guys, I'm Justin Keir, for those of y'all that don't know me or don't know me well. And I want to do a video today that's a little bit different and, and take the time to share two things with you. Uh, first, I want to share what I want you to know about me. But I also want to share what I don't want you to know about me. What I want you to know about me is that I've always been a coach and a teacher at heart. I, I just get so much joy from seeing other people do incredible things. But what I don't want you to know is that there are times that I feel like I have to put on a front um, or a persona uh, or this present this image so people take me more seriously. What I want you to know about me is that a large part of my career was in the fitness industry. And to this day, I'm so grateful for the coaching skills that I cultivated in that arena that have transferred over into what, what I really get to do today, right? Like being able to recognize when people have more in the tank to give, uh, to push them outside of their boundaries and their limits and outside of their comfort zones, that they're not done yet. The importance of community uh, for anyone's success and the way to the way to craft progressions while still maintaining variety. The importance of seeing movement and health and seeing more success in all areas of your life. It's lessons that still hold true today. What I don't want you to know is that when I was at my absolute fittest, strong, lean, athletic, abs for days, my life was struggling the most. Financially, I was a wreck. My marriage was suffering. I wasn't inspired uh, or honestly inspiring anyone else. And, and I hated that, that that was usually the first and or the only thing that people knew about me was that I was really fit. What I want you to know is that I've had the opportunity to work with some of the biggest and best companies and businesses around the world, uh, especially here in Atlanta, from Chick-fil-A to Home Depot to Delta, all the way down to small offices and teams of just a, a handful of employees, a handful of folks. And, and getting to see examples within all of those of teams being led well and teams being led poorly. What I don't want you to know is that the overall corporate structure just drives me crazy. It feels, it feels stifling to me. And while I, I love watching great leaders and learning from great leaders, it drives me crazy to see management and bureaucracy when I work in some, some corporate environments. That I can help an executive motivate and inspire their team or better communicate their, their vision and direction, but I couldn't do what they do. That as much as, as much as I love putting on a suit and tie, and I actually really do, <laughs> that I couldn't do it day in and day out for 20 or 30 years like some have. What I want you to know is that some of my just absolute and all-time favorite moments in business is when I'm standing on a stage. I mean, my, my website's Justin Keir Speaks for a reason, right? <laughs> that whether it's my TEDx talk that I did last year speaking directly to men on the dangers of isolation or speaking to a group or a company or a business or a team on the power of intentional collaboration. There's something about those moments that it's, I know that I'm stepping in my greatest strengths at those times. You know, there are some things you know you're just born to do. For me, it's speaking. Whether from a, a physical stage or a virtual stage, even like this, although I obviously prefer the physical, getting to inspire, getting to push, to prod, to provide new ways of looking at your life or your team or your business, those moments for me 
are my favorite moments in business. What I don't want you to know is that part of the reason I believe so strongly in the dangers of isolation is because it, it almost ruined my life. Me not reaching out or asking for help led to me getting a phone call saying our stuff was getting put on the lawn because we were being evicted. From not just me, but my, my entire family, my wife and my two boys sleeping in friends' houses on their living room floor or living with my parents or the six months we spent in a one room extended stay hotel. What I want you to know about me is that all of those experiences though, part of what make me, me, part of what make me the coach I am today, providing steady leadership and, and space for insights for my clients, being able to, to put things into perspective, to see that as bad as it may feel it right in this moment, there's still positive things about it. Seeing options, points of view that I missed, that you missed, that I'm able to open my client's eyes to the calm in the midst of the chaos and, and pull out the greatness that they bring to situations. What I don't want you to know about me is that I still worry at times that I'll mess everything up. That I'll do something to screw it up and drag my family back to those, those early days. That I'll drop the ball. That I'll be overwhelmed. That I, that I won't step into my own greatness. That my whole life is just a house of cards that will someday, out of the blue, come crashing down. And ultimately that, that I won't be enough. But the final thing I want you to know about me is that deep down I know that won't happen because my faith in the direction that God is taking my life has never been more solid because he's provided me with a family that's been strengthened and forged by the trials that we've come through because my mindset has shifted and I consistently reach out for coaching and mentoring and insight into my own life because I know that I'm growing and ultimately because I care too much about serving my clients because of you. So those are just a, a few things that uh, after watching this video that I wanted you to know about me and a, a few things that I didn't want you to know about me, but now you know. <laughs>